Welcome back to another VFX tutorial with a pretty sweet looking effect which I guess you have seen in good old Super Nintendo or Sega games. That effect was actually used quite a lot. What am I referring to? Well, a uh, pixelate in and pixelate out effect. And of course I'm a little bit cheating because I'm, not go I'm just going to show you the pixelation in and out. But I am having in between a black box, but this is not part of the quick and dirty tutorial. But if you want to know how to do well, the first part, which is pretty swell already, stick around. This is one up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing. Alrighty, so the theory and the practical part to, for understanding is pretty easy. First of all, we need to have an effect layer, so create one here if you haven't, put it on top and then we will apply the pixelate effect and as you can see, the start value is 16, which is quite high, but this is, is I guess, a good value um, at which point we say, okay, this has pixelated enough, jump to the next room and of course when we are in the next room we start with this high value and then we decrease it again so this is the easy peasy part so the first thing which we want to have is create the fx and then apply it to this specific layer because for now it has none applied which uh, should be like this so none and then we say like hey get uh, and set a variable which is I just call it fx pixelate then fx create then the effect which we want to have so filter and then underscore pixelate of course there are other ones and then we set the parameters then once again we set it to here a uh, little thing to know so if we are having the pixelate we just have one value to change which is the cell size this is how it's called and then we set it to one at the start so here create the effect and say and set the parameters inside the effect so the g cell size so this is a variable and then the value is then one and for now this is doing pretty much nothing so we need to tell game maker hey layer set fx so basically set this newly created fx uh, this new filter to well this specific layer which we have here and this is it and this is already pretty working good and now we want to apply it to um, well our layer and change um, the value inside all the time for that i do something hopefully you've seen that before in my other vfx tutorials on the specific layer so this should be uh, not different so first of all we are getting a struct which is then saying like hey is there a well, effect already applied to it and then if it's not it's minus one this is a fail save all the time and then what we can do is just well, copy paste the fx set parameter so basically just saying like hey this specific effect change the cell size to a specific value for now this is one pretty useless by the way <laughs> if we do it like this we need to increase it so for that we have then a variable in the create event which and then i just call well pixel amount and then we just update this value plus plus this is of course a little bit too fast but we can do it anyway and boom we just say like hey change it to this value which is then ramping up quite significantly and then we say like hey if this pixel amount is i don't know bigger than 16 or 13 or whatever boom uh, go to room so room and go to this is how you could go, uh, go about it i have my own system um, so this part is definitely not applying to your game so forget the stuff which is in here you just uh, have your own transition and for example once we check it out and then we are pretty much done as you can see boom and the pixelation is wow it's really fast as you can see this is not good but of course if you like it the way this goes you can go for me i um, have two uh, more variables which and then saying like hey let's do this actually every three steps so basically i have a timer which is then running down then if this is of course optional you can do that 
the way you like but i thought like hey this is actually looking pretty good like this and then of course we need to reset this timer to its time so basically basically the same stuff and then um, this is looking good and then for example um, what do you do if you for example have uh, well the kind of negative version the fade in so basically this thing you just drag into the room so on the instances or whatever on top then you have that or this is with an initial and then basically this is the same thing so pixel amount and then is starting with 16 and then um, basically you do the same stuff you uh, have a uh, effect layer which has nothing applied then we say like hey create the filter then change the values of course here we start with 15 and apply it instantly so basically it, it's when you start it it is pixelated and then what we do we decrease the pixelate timer and then for example if we are bigger than uh, well if we have a specific value which is then for example a pixelation of uh, one then we destroy it and then if we destroy it we say like hey layer clear fx um in my part and this is of course optional not going to show that i have uh, pixelation then i increase the alpha value of a black box this is optional not going to show how that works basically stretch that thing into infinity so 100 is quite a lot as you can imagine and then i just pixelate um, increase the alpha value of the drawn uh, uh, square so basically pixelates fades to black and then in my fade in i am having a black 100 uh, one value of alpha and then decreasing the alpha and of course decreasing the value of the pixelation which is the pixel amount and then once it's not needed i say like hey clear the effect and this is pretty much it hopefully you uh, got something out of it quick and dirty uh, setup of a pretty awesome effect from the 90s and early 2000s something like this already have a good one one up indie